everybody and welcome to another episode of Triassic Theories. If you recall in the previous episode, I discussed um, the Indominus Rex and Carnotaurus communicating, specifically Toro. And in that video, I mentioned that Toro is a juvenile. You may be thinking, what the heck does that have to do with anything? Well, it does have to do with this video. But before we begin, I need a sip drink of tea. So, cue the Hobbit tea music. Oh wait, no, vampire cough, guys. Vampire cough. <coughs> anyway, so for the um, juvenile factor of Toro, there is a theory going around about Toro being a carnotaurus that we've seen in Fallen Kingdom. Specifically, the most talked about theory is him being the first Carnotaurus we see, since their skin pattern is very, is basically the same and stuff. However, in, that doesn't really work because we see both sides of that Carnotaurus's face, and you can see no scar wounds, and later on we see that, um, in, even in Carnotaurus's, that they keep their scar wounds, just like Rexy kept hers from the original movie. But speaking of that Carnotaurus, if you recall in, at the end of Fallen Kingdom, when the dinosaurs escaped the Lockwood Estate, and if you haven't seen um, Camp Cretaceous or um, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, major spoilers. But um, the Carnotaurus there is a different pattern to the um, ones However, you may be thinking, that's maybe another gender or something, like sexual dimorphism, which we've seen countless times before, which we'll discuss that in another video. However, what we have to discuss is the size of that Carnotaurus. It's titled, the, if you don't know, the, the one I'm talking about that escapes the Lockwood Mansion is nicknamed the Demon Carnot, since it's based off of the the demon Carnotaurus toy from Kenner in from 1993? It might have been 1994. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please. But anyway, we can see that compare um, the, both the Carnotauruses we see beside Rexy, the one that Rexy kills earlier in the movie, and this demon Carno. You can see that comparing their sizes, the demon Carno is quite larger. And especially when you see them all, all the dinosaurs running out, you also see the Carnotaurus run by. And you can see other s smaller dinosaurs, including Ceratopsians. Now you may be thinking, what does this all have to do with Toro? Well, my theory is that the demon Carno skin pattern is representative of an adult um, Carnotaurus. Now the reason I think so is because we have evidence evidence to show this in other dinosaurs. Specifically, if in the short film Battle at Big Rock, which was released last year, we see um, an adult Allosaurus, and you can, if I'll probably show some images of both the adult and sub-adult, or juvenile, you can see they're quite different, even in the color pattern, and where the yellow and the blue is in both of them. Now, what if um, the demon Carno is the adult version of them? So, what I'm saying is basically the juvenile version of a Carnotaurus is the one that we see first in Fallen Kingdom, as well as the one in Battle of, in, not Battle of Big Rock, in Camp Cretaceous, because you can tell that um, Toro is actually quite smaller than um, many, such as when he's um, chasing the humans, you can see he's pretty sh a bit short. He's he's shorter than the. You can see that he's um smaller than even the one that gets killed by Rexy. However, that one is smaller than the demon Carmel still. Now another theory that people have been going around is that Toro is perhaps um supposed to be the demon Carnal that we see. Lockwood Estate, just before they are fully released. Because we technically see two in there. The one that people can recognize due to the broken horn, and the one that Rex goes into a little s s 
curry with, since it tried to steal a leg of beef I thought it was eating. But, I would say that it is very possible, because we know that um, all the dinosaurs have an accelerated growth rate due to Dr. Wu's um, genetic um, modifications on all of them to get them bigger as big as quickly as possible. It's been like that since the beginning. So, it is possible that Toro was a very young Carnotaurus in the Camp Cretaceous, but what's to say that during Fallen Kingdom, he's like fully grown or something? Well, not fully grown, but like in adulthood. And so, possibly due to this, we can theorize that maybe due to May even though we only see him get one scar, and that's because of um, Kenji and um, Darius in episode two, we do have to remember that he get that they blow him up and he survives. Now we don't really see all of the wounds. We see that some blisters and stuff, but we don't see any more cuts or anything. So what if on, especially on the um, side that um, the scars for the demon carnal are. So what if um, Toro got some scars? Maybe perhaps in the second season, which hasn't been confirmed yet, though due to um, Camp Cretaceous' success, I would say that it's very likely we're getting a second season. Maybe in that season, maybe Toro will get even more injured, which will really suck, because you really feel bad for when they blow him up and he survives. They go, they try to go full on Jaws with him, except unlike Bruce, which is the nickname for the sh shark animatronics used for Jaws, Toro survives. So perhaps maybe in season two, there'll be another um, fight between the kids and Toro. Then again, that's just a theory. Oh, but anyway, guys, what do you guys think about it? Do you think that possibly one of the demon cons we see at the end of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is possibly Toro? Or do you th think that um, my theory is, in, is possibly wrong? If you do, that's your own opinion. I'm not going to disagree. I, I would like you to explain why in the comments down below if you do disagree with me. Maybe you have a different theory, like maybe um, the demon Carno is perhaps one jet version, one gender of them, which is which could make just as much sense because we've seen sexual dimorphism in that way as well, such as with the T Rexes. But um, personally, I'm gonna stick with um, the theory that um, Toro could possibly. It's not confirmed. Maybe in Dominion we'll get to see Toro. Because if we do, then we can confirm that he is one of them if he shows up in a demon as the demon come. Which, by the way, I want to ask a question for you guys, for everybody who's seen Fallen Kingdom. Which version of the Carnotaurus do you prefer? Do you prefer the um, pattern that Tor Toro's based on, the more common, the associated one for the Jurassic World Carnotaurus? Or are you a fan of the demon carnival? Personally, I would have to um, lean a bit more to the demon carno design, probably because it like it's got a cool design and stuff like the deep black with um, the certain the red on around the eyes, and then if you get a full body pattern, it's some um, little um, stripes sort of on top of its back and stuff, which is quite different from and its underbelly is like a silverish beige color. At least in my opinion. And then that, it's that lime green eye. It reminds me so much of a chameleon, which just makes me want to see that Lost World scene that we all want to see with Carnotaurus camouflage. And if you've read the Lost World novel, which is up there, by the way, you, you know what I'm talking about. But if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you haven't joined the hunt already, or, well, if you have, good for you. If you haven't and you want to, hit the subscribe button, and um, if you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you can find me there. Links to those will be in the description below. And until next time, be safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.